Hi everyone, it's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. It is Taurus season, so it's time to have Taurus read out. Happy birthday, Taurus. Um, anyone with sun, moon, rising, I welcome you. I also welcome the collectives here, obviously, um, because I'm going to go into the energy of the cosmos. Um, we do have a solar eclipse on April 30th. Um, and it's, you know, dancing harmoniously with Venus and Neptune in the air, um, which is why I have this spread here, including my props. Um, <laughs> so Venus and Taurus is so strong in the air, right? Venus rules Taurus. Um, and we also have Pisces strong in the air, right? Neptune rules Pisces. Um, so I'm going to be talking, um, I'm going to touch on astrology when it comes to those two planets, um, the positive, the negative sides, and even the strange things that may be happening around this time, okay? So I welcome you all. Thank you so much for, you know, um, joining me here and supporting my channel for those who have subscribed and um, supported me throughout the months, years, weeks, even days. Love you. Um <clears throat> This Sunday, May 1st, I'm going to do live on Sunday energy um, for the month of May, the month of May energy read and um, love and advice, spiritual messages. Um, so join me live this Sunday. Um, hit the notification bell. I am taking a few questions in the beginning. Um, however, if you come in later, you're more than welcome, you know, to donate for a one question read. OK, so you know, um, join me uh, May 1st. If you don't, if you can't catch me, obviously you could always see it later. Um, all right, so let's get started, my loves. Um, hope everyone's doing well during this time. You know, um, like I said, we have the sun right now in Taurus and there's a solar eclipse about to happen soon on the 30th of April, but that energy is going to linger. It's not just going to be April 30th. And then that's it. It it will linger. Sometimes it lingers for two weeks. Sometimes it lingers for two months. The solar eclipse is really strong. So it usually takes many weeks for it to subside. Um, but it's 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 conjunct with Uranus because Uranus is in Taurus. We have the north node that entered Taurus in the beginning of the year. So we have those three Taurus energy very strongly north node uranus and the sun with a solar eclipse all in taurus and i'm going to explain a little bit about what that means um or how it may affect you you know as a collective you know it's going to be general obviously it's not going to you know affect people positive in a positive way or a negative way or in, even in a strange way um but i will go and touch into you know how it can affect us because it is aspecting beautifully in venus and it's and it's aspecting beautifully in jupiter and in neptune because all those three planets are in pisces okay now this is where it gets a little like woo, twilight zone um so venus is the ruler of taurus right and Neptune is the ruler of Pisces. So, you know, like I said, we have these, you know, Taurus very much strongly and very strongly in the air. And then Venus is in Pisces, right? Taurus rules, um, Pis I'm sorry, Venus. Venus rules Taurus. And right now, Venus is in Pisces. Now we have two planets, right? We have Venus down here. We have Neptune up here. And Venus and Neptune are similar in energy, but one is more of an earthly, low vibrational um, energy, right? And when I mean low vibration, I don't mean that in a bad way. It can be. It can be. But we're talking about inner planets, right, um, in our solar system. And Venus happens to be our inner planet, one of the inner planets of our solar system, right? Um, and then we have Neptune, which is an outer planet. So it's a higher vibrational um, energy, you know, higher octave, the higher octave planet of Venus, which is down here, right? And these two energies belong together, okay? Because Venus is the lower vibrational planet of Neptune. Neptune is the higher vibrational energy or the higher octave planet of Venus. So this is where we're going to go in. Um, the positive side to this is love health, income, 
you know, all these things will be favorable. Um, not for all of us, because I am generally speaking, but, you know, in love, you know, it could be relationships, one-on-one -on -one relationships. It could be relationships, you know, um, with a public a community. It could be relationships with yourself, a relationship with yourself, right? Because that's where it starts. It always starts with a relationship with ourselves. Um, and, um, and, you know, it could be with your family as well, right? Relationships with your friends and family. Um, so those are going to be highlighted, right? Those relationships are going to be highlighted, especially when it comes to love, love, love ourselves, loving others. Um, so expect to be that that expect to be in that sensual energy, you know, um, and um, and and health is is important right now. I think a lot of us are going to be very conscious of what we put in our bodies, what we do with our bodies, and this includes sex life. Okay, all right, let's not forget Taurus. All right, sister house of Scorpio. <laughs> right, so our sex life is part of our health, right? That that's our health, right? Eating habits is our health. Um, self-care, beauty care, exercise, and stuff like that. You know, all those things will be highlighted, you know, this season. So be careful with that because it is highlighted, but, it, you know, even though some of us may be conscious, some of us may not be so conscious, um, or we think we're doing the right thing and we're not. So just be careful because it's a sensitive time when it comes to our health. Um, and, and, and income. Uh, Taurus is the house of income, right? That's that's great, right? And it's in, in Venus and, and it's aspecting beautifully in, in Jupiter, you know, Jupiter, planet of abundance. And um, and in the North Node, right? Our North Node, uh, the Taurus, Taurus being in North Node is amazing, conjunct with Uranus. So, you know, here we see, you know, abundance of income for some of us or maybe a possession, right? You may... You may buy a car, relocate, um, you know, those things may be favorable, not for all of us, not for all of us, and I'll go into the negative side of it, but, um, you know, some people may have an influx of money or, a, you know, an influx of clients, um, you know, your business may be blooming around this time, you know, that is the beauty of, of this energy right now going on. Right. But let's talk about the, the, the Debbie Downer part of it. Right. The Debbie Downer, the negative Nancy part of the, you know, transits. <laughs> OK. All right. Because there's always a negative side. Right. Um, there has to be a balance somewhere. And um, I think the negative side also has to do with um, the home, you know, family and home, especially family and home, um, because Taurus rules values. And not just valuables and possessions, but also family values, spiritual values, and um, and beliefs, right? And these things may be highlighted in the home. These things may be highlighted highlighted in the family. So either it's going to be in your current home or your childhood home um, or a past home, right? So, you know, these things may come up in the, on the surface, right? It, you know, dealing with family that, you know, maybe your siblings, your children, your parents, um, you know, the ugly side, um, of something that might've been suppressed may come up to the surface. And, um, and, and again, it could be something from the past. It could be something that may be happening currently, but family and home issues, um, you know, may arise around this time. Again, generally speaking for the collectives. Um, and, you know, I'm, I have to emphasize on health because, you know, health can be negative here as well. Um, again, if you're not, you know, looking after yourself, then who is? If you're not looking after yourself, then who is, right? So be very careful. Again, health is going to be highlighted very strongly around this season. Um... And, um, you know, I, I think when it comes to income, lending money or or even purchasing or signing something, um, like if it's impulsive, you know, I want to say if it's impulsive, impulsive purchases, impulsive, you know, lending money, <laughs> you know, impulsive spending, um, you know, be careful with that. Um, and I say that because of the retrograde. We have Pluto and Mercury um, about to go into retrograde, all right? Um, once Mercury gets into Gemini, 
and it's retrograding because Mercury belongs in Gemini. You know, miscommunication can happen. Um, and that could be in all aspects. It doesn't necessarily have to be an in income. It could be also in relationships, you know. Um, I wouldn't suggest surgery around that time either. So, um, you know, just be aware of, you know, that negative side to, to the um, planetary transits um, at the moment, okay? Um, and last but not least, let's go into the strange side because we're dealing with Neptune, right? You know, here we have Venus. Venus rules the five senses, right? We, it rules taste, touch, feel, hearing, sight. Um, and then we have Neptune that rules like other types of senses that are not tangible, right? Very abstract. And, um, and it's a third eye, right? It rules the third eye, the sixth sense, your gut feeling, um, dreams and visions, daydreams, illusions, you know, um, you know, it's a whole different type of senses, right? Going on there with Neptune. Remember, it's a higher octave of Venus. Um, and so strange things may happen, okay? Um, warped out situations is, is going to enter your life in some shape, form, or other, and you're going to be like, what the hell just happened? Who, what, where, when, what, how, am I still on planet Earth? Am I still in existence? You know, like, sh stuff like that. Is gonna like just be like really weird, and this this will happen during the the course of your day or course of your evening or night. You know, um, it could happen in dreams, visions. You know, um, something really, you know, weird may just happen. You know, sometimes you know we go about our day and crazy stuff happen, right? It doesn't happen all the time, you know, but crazy stuff happens, right? And and I think a lot of us probably by now are used to you know the unexpected you know, or the unpredictable to happen, um, right? It, those things happen. It is what it is. If you're prepared for it and you don't suffer from high anxiety, you're good. But then there's like strange things, right? Stranger things. Ever heard of <laughs> the Netflix series, the Str Stranger Things? Like that type of energy um, where you're going about your day and you have your day-to-day, -day, you know, you know, plans and activities and routines all laid out for the day, just like I have my cards here all laid out, you know, and, and you know, you you woke up in the morning, you went to work, went to school, you know, you came home, and then I don't know what happened to this energy. Like, what happened between the time you came home to the time you went to bed? Something weird just happened here. And you're here, now you're here, and you're trying to figure out what just happened, right? You're like, what happened? Um, I wasn't expecting this situation to happen. And you're trying to make sense of it. Don't even bother. Don't even bother to make sense. Just roll with it. Neptune energy. Just roll with it, okay? There was a higher purpose to that situation. There was a higher purpose to that encountering. So things like that in the strange side of the you know planetary transits happening right now will occur, okay? I think that was it for my astrology. <laughs> my astrology um, monologue there. Um, but let's get started. You know, I have here, um, you know, um, my mermaid tarot. I'm going to use my mermaid tarot to pick up any messages for um, Venus. Because I love my mermaid tarot. I don't use it as much. Um, but it does remind me of a Venusian energy. So I'm going to use my mermaid tarot for to see if, what messages Venus has for us or whatever other messages comes out, right? Um, but then I have my black tarot here. My black tarot, I use it for like strange, hidden, occult, weird readings. That's what I use it for most of the time. And... Um, and I decided to take them out and a lot of cards came out. As you can see, a lot came out, right? This is such a, this is exactly the energy I was talking about with the higher octave of Neptune and the lower octave of Venus. You know, like here we have a lot of energy going on here. A lot of these cards came out. I have them face down, so I don't know what's on them underneath. Um, but, you know, and then we have the lower octave. So the Neptune energy here, the messages for Neptune look kind of crazy. We'll see what's going to happen with that. But let's start with the animal tarot 
I wanted to take out a couple of cards just to start the, the reading because I wanted to see, you know, what messages we should start with. And I have here the World card and the Queen of Winter, which is the Queen of Swords. Interesting. You know, I, communication, um, especially for those who do business, you know, um, online, business with other parts of the world, um, um, people, you know, you may deal with people from other countries, um, other cultures or something like that, you know, um, you know, business is what I'm picking up here for sure. Um, with these two cards, um, for a small group of you, it could be, um, court cases or litigation or some type of contract, um, for sure. Um, just be very careful because I did mention something about, you know, Pluto and Mercury being retrograde um, around this time and, um, you know, court issues or, you know, miscommunication in, in, in papers, especially contracts, um, may be an issue here, right? But otherwise, for the most part, um, I think with the World card and the Queen of Swords, it looks super positive when it comes to business. Now, you know, some of you may work at home. You're like, you know, I, I, I work at home. This is also favorable. Um, you know, um, I just think that, you know, um, people who either are dealing with, you know, um, the mass, you know, it, it could be a small group, it could be a large group, it doesn't matter. You know, you're dealing with people. This is it's such an um, uh, an energy of interacting with others, not interacting with self, but interacting with others. And um, it's, if you're damn good at what you do, and if you love what you do, especially if you love what you do, um, or if you're trying to, you know, seek um, an adventure out there, <laughs> you know, I, I'm seeing an adventure, like, you know, for those who are passionate about like, you know, what's my life path? Um, what is my mission? You know, I see it here very strongly that you need to follow it or it will come to you. If For those who don't know, um, it will come to you this season. Like this is a season where it's like, you know, I, 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 I'm I done with the mundane or I'm done with something that is not making me happy, you know, um, or it, it's not fulfilling me, you know, in, in a way where I want life to fulfill me. And um and, and all these things are, are going to be highlighted here when I see the world card and the queen of swords, you know? Um, I know that was a lot because, you know, I'm talking to a few different groups, but I feel like all those things will come up, you know, um, not all of it at one time, but, you know, for those who resonate with that message, um, you know, I have here the world card here and it says, congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered life offered you with grace and courage. Wow. Um, I love that. And then here with the Queen of Swords, it says experience, self-sufficient, brilliant, funny. Um, it says here, all your life experiences have prepared you for this moment of truth. It's time to declutter your home, clear away situations that aren't working for you anymore, and disengage from people who create more drama than happiness. Ah, oh, what? What? Say it. <laughs> Love those two energies for this season. Um, yeah, you know, I, I you know... It's pretty much what I had said, but, you know, for those who are dealing with people on a personal level, it's, you know, um, wh whether it's your partner or your ex or family members or friends, um, it is time to get rid of those negative people in your life or negative energies that don't belong in your life, right? The Queen of Swords is about icing people out. Look at them eyes. Yeah, no, she's not playing. No, not this leopard. And um, that's what it means. It means that you really need to, it, it's a moment of truth for you, right? Because the Queen of Swords is about the truth. 
um, you know, in, 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 in detaching or, you know, in this case, for some of you, maybe you may have to declutter your home, right? Maybe that's an energy cleanser there. Um, for some of you, you have to clear, you know, just negative things that are not working for you any longer, correct? So I love that energy. At the bottom of the deck, I see justice here. What? What? <laughs> Um, interesting because Venus rules Libra, right? This is the Libra card. It says here, fair decisions will be made after all the evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of a disagreement. Interesting. I did mention something about court. You know, court may be, um, it, and that could be, in, I don't know, it could be a, a you know, a warrant, a car ticket for all I know. Um, it could be, you know, more than that, family court, civil suits. So, you know, um, taxes even, right? Um, so just um, that energy seems to be coming up again. So just seeing it again with the justice card. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I wanted to do Venus, right? Because Venus is the planet that comes first here, right? It's next to Earth. We're in Taurus season. And I just want to see what energies are coming out. Look, I have the world card here. Interesting. Um, all these cards are in reverse except for the Six of Cups. Um, so I have the Six of Cups, the World card, the Moon, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Wow. This is crazy. But this is so um, fitting. A lot of water, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, and then we have the World card, which is very Earth. Right? It's an earth energy. So water and earth is highlighted here. And I think the energy um, feels like it's flowing, you know? Um, like I'm kind of seeing like a flow of energy here. Um, and you're swimming in it. And you have no control of it, you know? Meaning you have no control of where it's going to take you, where you're going to end up, where you're going to start, where the middle part is. It, it, you're just going with it, right? And I feel like a lot of you have been in this energy of like, Leonore, all I can do is control my emotions. I can't control nothing else but how I feel. <laughs> it's the only thing I have you know, control of right now because I just have to deal with this. I'm going to have to just deal with it. Um, and a lot of you may be dealing with this, you know, situation, you know, of having to be grounded or wanting to be grounded, you know, in, in relationships and at your job or anything that's affecting you, um, currently. And, um, and you're trying to, you know, have a footing in it, right? You're trying to like, like I'm going to have a footing in this, but I feel like for the most part, you're not going to be able to, or, or it hasn't really been that way for you. Um, I don't sense it's bad. I don't sense it's good either. It's a very neutral energy. It really depends how you um, perceive it, you know? Um, sometimes, you know, bad things happen to us for a reason, right? And sometimes good things happen to us, you know, for a higher purpose because of a, there's a higher purpose out there. And even, you know, in, when you deal with, you know, confrontations, you know, with people, because I do see some form of confrontation here with this energy, um, know that that confrontation is for a reason. Um, perhaps that person was not meant to be in your life, you know, um, for the rest of your life or for the rest of the, you know, month, whatever, I don't care. But it, there's a reason. There's like a higher reason is what I'm sensing here with the Six of Cups, the World card, the Moon card, especially with these three energies. Um, a lot of you are dealing with family issues, friends, um, lovers, you know, with the Six of Cups here. With the World card, I, you know, I, I think some of you are stuck like, oh, I can't do nothing about this situation except just be myself. All I could do is be myself. All I could do is really have faith. Um, and a lot of you are in this energy. And I love it. Um, with the moon card, I think secrets are out, right? Uh, lots of secrets are out. Um, hidden enemies. Interesting. Um, Pisces is the house of hidden enemies. Pisces is the house of spirituality. Um... You know, I was talking about that in the beginning of the intro, right? Pisces being very strong in the air. And um, 
and I feel like, you know, hidden enemies may come to the forefront. Um, this could be in the physical world. I'm not going to lie. And this could also be in the spirit world. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so this may be um, coming up in the forefront, right? Knowing, you know, who your enemies are. Okay. So for those who are hiding behind the veil, yeah, well, good luck with that because that's not going to be um, continuing for much longer. Um, then I have the Two of Cups and the Five of Cups. Um, interesting. Lost love is what I see here. A lost love. Um... Some of you are either currently dealing with a a soulmate or you were dealing with a soulmate. Um, I think a lot of you have gotten over this energy, this energy of losing this love of yours. Um, or for some of you, maybe even accepting the circumstances that are currently happening. Right? Because I did mention an energy of like, you're just going with the flow. And there's nothing else you could do. Um, and whatever that is for you, whatever type of love this is for you, whether it's long gone or it's, you know, you're currently dealing with it, um, it's intense. Jesus, it's, 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 it's intense right now. Um, some of you are like, I, I, you know, I'm thinking about my ex or my ex is thinking about me, you know, and you're like over it, right? You're over it. But for some reason, it's coming up to the surface. It's coming up to the surface. You know, some of you um, might have found out about your current lover, something your current lover did. Um, maybe it's something they were hiding. Um, could be positive. Maybe they were hiding how they felt about you. Maybe they're like, you know what? I think I love you. And they've been hiding that from you. But it also could be negative, you know? Maybe they were hiding a third party. Or or for, you know, worst case scenario, and I, and I hate to bring this up, but I, I, I do feel it in the energy with Pisces, you know, being um, the house of endings, you might have lost a partner or a loved one. Um, you know, that, that energy is coming very strong too with the two of cups and the five of cups. But I also see, you know, a silver lining. Um, a lot of you are dealing with a, a a heartbreak of some sort that either resurfaced or you're currently dealing with and with the six of cups being the first card out i just feel like you know um the universe has a divine plan for you and i think it has to do with another person you lost someone but you know what we're giving you someone Um, and it's going to be a soulmate of yours, a soul tribe, whether it's a friend, um, a business partner, um, a love interest, um, or even a, a family member that you haven't spoken to in a while, you know, or, or a lost friend that you haven't seen in a while, you know, they're coming back and, um, you're reconnecting with a soul tribe of yours during this time. Um, so hang in there because, you know, for those who are not experiencing this beautiful connection that's coming towards you, it will. You will um, experience that connection with someone beautifully. Some of you are already experiencing that connection with someone and it's surreal and uh, you don't know what to make of it. But again, like I said, you're just you're literally just going with the flow. You're just like, you know, I'm just going with this flow, Leonora. I'm over here dancing with the energies of the cosmos. All I could do is really control how I feel. And that is coming up very strongly with this message um, for Venus. Let's go into Neptune. Okay. Um, I see at the bottom of the deck the Two of Swords. Um, you know, confrontation is what I'm seeing here, um, either with yourself or with someone else. You know, some of you may be fighting with yourself. You know, you're like, 
you know, no, 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 yes, 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 no, 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 yes, 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 now, 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 later, 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 you know, I don't know, whatever that conflict is within yourself. But, you know, for a lot of you, it's with someone else, right? And some of you are like, I don't even, I didn't even know I had a conflict with another person. Well, you guess what? They have conflict with you, with the two of swords here. So I do see some type of conflict here, very much of the energy of the five of swords or the five of wands you know that resisting energy um but also you know because you know it's you know has the energy of the five of swords or the five of wands um it, i also see success coming from it you know i think that you will win you know it will it, it will not conquer you okay you will conquer it or you will conquer that person or that issue um, that has been um, bothering you. Um, and again, I'm sensing divine purpose, a divine purpose that you may not even know what, why it happened, or what's happening, right? I spoke about that earlier. I said, you know, you know, strange things are going to happen and you're going to have to figure out, or in this case, at least take it from a Pisces, don't even try to figure it out. <laughs> Don't even try. Just don't. Just don't. Just go with it. Just be like, all right, it happened. I'm gonna go with it. it, it moving on. Moving on. All right. So this is interesting because, like I said, um, I wanted to use my black tarot for the Neptune energy to see if there's any um, strong messages. And all these cards came out, man. Like it's ridiculous. And um, I don't even take this much cards out for like. <laughs> You know, my head in a cult when I do use them. But all these cards came out. So let's see what's going on here. Um, I have here the Four of Swords, the World card again. Folks, this is the third. I'm using three tarot decks. This is the third time that the World card comes out. That is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. This is the third time that the world card comes out. What is going on? Look at this. Completion, correct? The beginning of a beautiful story that's about to unfold for you is what I see. Um, you done your work. Congratulations. Let's move on. All right, because we got something better for you is what also is also what I'm seeing. Um, some of you have been dealing with, you know, awful, um, awful circumstances in your life and people and events. And um, I know that it's ending, know that it's ending. Um, and it's a beautiful energy, that transition that's about to unfold for you, whether it's a realization or it's something really happening to you physically, um, emotionally, mentally, um, it's a beautiful energy. It's beautiful nonetheless. It's, it's, um, it's scary. I think for some of you, it's so fucking scary. But, um, you know, I, I feel like naming the, I feel like honestly naming this whole video, just go with it. Just go with it. Um, because there is a divine purpose here. There's a divine order, divine timing, and everything was supposed to happen the way it unfolded. Um, and that's beautiful. Um, we may not know why things happen the way it happens, and some of us get really frustrated because, you know, you think you're in control of your life. You think, you know what I'm saying, you're in control of your life. And you're like, no, guess what? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh, my God. Ever seen Tyler Tyro? <laughs> mm. I love when he does that. <laughs> I don't watch him often. I used to watch him. And that was his thing. <laughs> it's just, listen to me. All right, moving on. I have the Four of Swords, the World card. I have the Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups again. 
I have the Hangman. Interesting. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, and the Judgment card. What? So we have one, two, three, four, five Arcanas out of eight. All right. Let me take a breather. Let me take a breather here. This is going to be a good one. So again, this is very, this is my Neptune energy. Not surprised that these energies are here. Not surprised at all. Um, because that's Neptune for you. All right. That's Neptune for you. Um, a lot of you are taking time away. And, and you're like, I, Leonore, I, I can't. <laughs> I just can't. All these things are happening one after the other after the other, or just one big thing that that made you feel defeated in some shape, form, or other, right? And you're at this stage right now, or will be in a stage where it's going to be silence. And you know who's going to be silent? You know who's going to be in control of being silent? Despite whatever is going on around you, despite the drama, the negative energies, um, the people coming towards you for whatever reason, guess who's going to be in this Indian style pose? <laughs> this meditation pose. You. You're going to be at peace. Because you know what? You may not be able to control other people. And their actions but you damn well better believe you're going to control who you are and what you do and how you feel so you're in a beautiful mental space is what i'm seeing here with the four of swords you're taking time away from bullshit you know um and to have the world card right next to the four swords let me ugh, and again i can't I, I think i've already said this a couple of times but Whatever it is that you have been going through for the last week, for the last year, for the last decade, um, is going to come to a stop, a completion with the world card here. Some of you may have very strong, you know, earth in your chart, right? Very strong earth in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And, um, and you're tired. Like, I just sense a lot of you are like Leonore. <laughs> You know, and this could be in any aspect in your life. You know, relationships, health, money, home, family. Um, but you're in control of you. And that's what I love about the Four Swords. So Neptune, like so Neptunian energy. Like, I'm just going to be in my own world. So Pisces. This is a very Pisces energy, right? It's an air sign, right? It's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I think this is an Aquarius energy. But Aquarius um, is right before Pisces. Interesting. And Aquarius and Pisces are similar in energy, right? Um, not all of it, but there's some, you know, um, it, it's it's an energy of surrendering, right? Aquarius and Pisces has always has that energy of surrendering. Like, you know what? We're just going to go with it. Um, you know, it's thinking outside the box, feeling outside the box you know um and that's where you are right now outside the box <laughs> um yeah leonore i'm not over here with the drama i'm over here you know on my own isolated um then i see the knight of cups the two of cups here this is interesting um and this pertains a lot to a i feel like a new relationship um, and this could be, you know, two days old, two months old. Um, but it's it's new. It's new. Some of you may not even know this is coming towards you. This love, you don't even know this love is coming towards you. Some of you may be in a connection or crushing on someone. And you're like, I don't, I don't know how that person feels about me. Um, and I think this is the second time I've addressed it, you know, new love, um, new relationships, um, 
and even the love for yourself. Like you're in this new high vibrational wavelength frequency. And, um, you know, you, you see it here with this energy, right? Like this energy of like, I'm on a high frequency, high vibration here, Leonore. And, and you attracted someone because of it. Someone's coming towards you. Or you already have someone. And, and honestly, the energy is pretty new. So it does feel very new. It doesn't feel like, you know, you've been in a relationship with this person for a while. If you have, if you have, for those who have been in a relationship with someone for quite some time, like a love relationship, love partnership, um, it's like a renewal. I'm sensing a renewal between you and this person. Maybe you two were separated. Um, there was a separation here. And you're probably wondering if this person will ever come back. And I'm talking to those who really want this person back. You know, it's a mutual energy. You want this person back. This person has been thinking about you. But I just don't think that whether, you know, whether you know this person, um, whether you've just met this person, whether you've been with this person and known this person for quite some time, it's, a, it's an energy of like this amount of love that you didn't know existed with the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups, you know? Like, oh my God, does that really exist? And you feel it, and you don't know what to do with that. And so some of you are like, I don't know what to do with that energy, Leonore. It's a Neptunian energy. You tell me what to do. You're a Pisces, right? What the hell do you do with energy like that? <laughs> well, I go with the flow. I go with the flow. You just go with it. Let it, let, you know, the two fishes, right? The two fishes going up, one going up, one going down. It's not, let's listen, this is not, this is not a love that's grounded. There's no grounding energy. In this, this, this is not a grounding relationship. And I mean that in a good way, you know, because the love, you don't, you don't feel it. I, okay. When I say you don't feel it, it's not a, it's not a, um, someone telling you I love you. It's not that. It's not someone saying, I love you. And even if they are, it's more than that. It's, you feel more than that. It's, there's no words to describe the amount of love coming towards you. There's no words to describe the amount of love you have for this person and this person has for you. It's, it's, it, it's, you can't touch it. You didn't even know it existed. You thought, you heard about it. You might have seen it in movies. But to experience it, <laughs> what? Some of you may be, um, for a small group of you, if not both, um, some of you may be going back to your faith, something about faith or your, you know, going back to your roots, um, whether it's your, your, your family roots, um, your cultural roots. Um, and this is a love, you know, a renewal or a love of your faith or love or a, a love and, and renewal of you know wanting to learn more about your culture your 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 ancestry um and that's beautiful all right and then i have all these major arcanas here so i have the hangman I have the Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, the Judgment. So I have very strong Pisces here. Very strong Sagittarius. Very strong Aries. And very strong Leo and Scorpio. I also have Cancer and Pisces here too. And I had mentioned Earth signs, right? Taurus, Virgo, Virgo Capricorn. Um... Some of you are hanging by a thread, um, and I feel it has to do with your emotions, um, maybe even your mental sanity. And you're really holding on to that thread. You're like, it's thin, Leonora. It's super thin. But I'm holding on to it because I have faith with the hangman here. Um, and I don't know what area in your life this concerns. This, this is, you know, what area of your life um, this may be affecting you in. Like, um, it could be, you know, your career, finance, family, health, love. But um, whatever it is, you know, 
you're hanging by a thread. Um, and you have faith that everything will turn out good. It will turn out good. You're like, no, no, it will turn out good despite, you know, everything around me, despite what I've been through, I'm going to make it good. I'm going to make it, I'm going to make sure that things turn around for me. Um, you know, if it's not, if it's not, you know, on the outside, then internally, internally, I'm going to take it day by day. I'm going to go within and I'm going to get to know myself. Because maybe I haven't gotten to know myself with all the drama happening around me or all the, you know, um, <sighs> defeat. Whether it's more than one or one, I don't know. That You would know that. Um, for a small group of you, I see an energy around you. Um, this energy is um toxic um it's not gonna apply for everyone you, you i think that some of you may already know who it is or what it is but um there's a toxic energy around you um, be careful with this energy this energy seems to be targeting you um it could be a person, right? It could be a person targeting you. Um, but I feel it's deeper than that. It's more than that. I think that this person um, has some type of entity walking among them, walking, you know, with them, I should say. And um, and it's targeting you, you specifically, you. It may not even be a person with an entity attached to them. It may just be an entity targeting you. It could be both. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, and the Judgment card, you know, I see a day of reckoning, meaning you're going to get what you goddamn deserve. Holy shit. To have these three energies back to back to back, ooh, honey child, this is winning the lottery. This is winning the lottery in this life. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Um, the emperor, judgment. This is like, no, 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 no. Maybe you thought we forgot about you, but we didn't. We didn't. It's here. It's here. Um, for some of you, it's marriage. For some of you, it's, um, you know, big business deals or, you know, income. You know, um, a lot of you may, may um, be in this um you know, this love, this different love of, of like a different view of yourself, a different view of the world, a different view of um, maybe something, you know, just smaller than that. It doesn't have to be of yourself or the world, but maybe a different view of, you know, your partnerships, um, a different view of, you know, your career or spirituality or health. You have a different view here and, you, and you're looking at things very differently now. And the reason why this may be happening is because something beautiful is coming towards you. And they need you, they need for you, when I say they, the powers that may be, this is Neptune energy, um, they need you to be in this energy, this stillness, for this to come. Um... And if you are not in this, like this, this energy, if you're like all over the place, you know, um, emotionally, mentally, physically, be careful, please be careful because this energy, this is the first card out from Neptune, this, from my Neptune cards here, my ta black tarot, Neptune message here. And this is an energy of like, just take a step back, take a step back. Look at the bigger picture. What's wrong with this picture? And that's the energy that you should be in right now. Um, do not, it's not a time for the hustle and bustle. It's not a time for you to be like, no, no, I don't have time, I don't have time. No, not with that energy. Because to have these three beautiful cards out, this energy coming towards you, 
you're going to have to be in a sane mental space. You're going to have to be in a healthy emotional state. You're going to have to be physically at peace and 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 um and not overwhelm yourself with people, places, and things. Um Listen, some of you are going to enter a relationship. It's not even funny. Some of you already are in this relationship. Like I said, you know, you just newly met this person or you're rekindling with a beautiful love that you thought you lost. Um, and that's who I'm talking to. Those people, right? Those are the type of people I'm talking to. I'm not, not, you don't know how this person feels. I'm not talking to you. And even if you don't know how this person feels, whether you, you know, whether you are, um, whether you're aware of this person's, you know, love for you or not, if your love is so hard to explain, if your love feels like the energy comes from a past life, like, oh my God, Leonore, I think this is my past life lover because I don't understand where this energy is coming from. It's not coming from this life. I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> Um, it could be soulmate energy, right? I have here two of cups here two times. The two of cups, the six of cups. You know, these are all soulmate energies. From past life. Soul tribe is what I called it, right? And, um, and to have the world card here three times, wow. Some of you are like, Leonore, I've been looking for the love of my life <sighs> since I was born. <laughs> since I was born. And I couldn't find her. I couldn't find her. This person, this person is coming towards you. It could be a very strong water sign, rising sun, moon, Venus. Maybe even Jupiter, um, you know, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But, um, you know, I'm hearing Mars in Scorpio, um, Moon in um, Cancer, Pisces, Sun. I don't know, just heard those three. <laughs> Mars in Scorpio, um, Pisces, Sun, and Cancer, Moon. Um, I'm also hearing Venus in Aquarius. Yeah. Anyway, um, a lot of you are going to be dealing with a, a, a beautiful kinship, a beautiful relationship. Um, whether you know this person, you've met this person or not, that you would know that more than me. But the love is um, out of this world. You cannot explain the love that you two have. And the reason why you cannot explain the, this love that you possess for this person is because it's an energy that traveled into this lifetime. It's an energy that, you know, doesn't know timelines. It just doesn't know timelines. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't know that you reincarnated into a different body. It doesn't know that your lover reincarnated into a different body. All the all I know is that the energy is there. The energy is still lingering from a past life and it's trying to find its place and it found it. And it like it found it. It found it. And um and that's beautiful for Taurus season. Oh my God. You know how I was being like a Debbie Downer? Sometimes I have to be a Debbie Downer when it comes to astrology talk. Because it's for real, right? There's a balance. There's a negative side and there's a positive side. And then there's like a gray area. <laughs> um, but um, this is the beautiful part of Taurus season, my loves. This love. Um, and it's so past life. It's not even funny. Like the, when I see the wheel of fortune here, the judgment card, this is timelines. These are timelines. Um, you may be dealing with a strong earth. I have, I think I said mentioned earth, right? Um, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may be dealing with another earth sign, but, um, oh, you have that strongly in your chart, but.
the love that you two have for each other doesn't exist. And some of you are like, Leonora, I'm in love with my person, but I don't know how my person feels. And that came in very strongly. It did come in very strongly. Like, you know, a lot of you don't even know that there's this beautiful love that's actually being reciprocated. Uh, because this is a reciprocal love that I'm seeing here, not a one-way love. And maybe this person is shy, too shy to tell you. Maybe they're quiet. Maybe they don't know how you feel. Maybe they're, you know, waiting for the right time. But whatever the, the reason is for this person not to tell you or vice versa, if it's vice versa, maybe it's mutual. Maybe both of you haven't told each other yet because you just met or, you know, you separated and you're trying to figure out how the other person still feels about you. Whatever that case, whatever the case may be is um it's beautiful it's meant to be you can't get rid of this person this person can't get rid of you <laughs> um it's very um galactic someone here doesn't someone here is not even from this earth meaning um you reincarnated from a different galaxy i feel like both of you might have reincarnated from a different galaxy whether it was past past life or two lifetimes ago, that I don't know, but there's a common place in the galaxy that you two came from. I don't think it's the same planet, but it's the same galaxy. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? <laughs> like you both reincarnated from the same galaxy. You, and then you know, you're, you, you, then you're here, right? Fast forward to this incarnation, you're here on Earth. And um, and I feel like both of you are trying to figure your way um, on this earth. You're trying to figure out, you know, where you fit on this planet. Where do you fit on this planet? And I think you've been doing a great damn job. Or at least, you know, the powers that may be have been helping you. Um, or both, right? You've been doing a good job, you know, controlling, you know, yourself. And, you know, if you, you know, I'm sure you've had your moments, but still, you've done a damn good job controlling yourself, you know, because you, you, um, you, you're evolved and, and you figured it out, you know, or you're trying to figure it out on this earth. And, um, and so is this person. So is this person. Somebody may be older than the other person. Um, or it just doesn't have to be an age. It could be, um, wisdom, intelligence, um, um, in education or life just wise when it comes to ancient, ancient or traditional ways. Um, and that could be, um, you know, from your culture, could be your religion, um, could be science, could be math, it <laughs> could be English language arts. But um yeah. That's what I see there. All right. Um that was pretty long, but I, I wanted it to be this long because <laughs> I wanted it, these messages to come out. Um and I hope I was clear about you know the beautiful energies that may be here. It is beautiful. And I think the lesson here, folks, is just go with it. Just go with it because um, it's the ending of the of of um, the rough waters, right? The rough waters are ending, and 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 the divine powers that may be already has something. They already have something for you. For a lot of you, it's someone. For a lot of you, it's someone. All right, whether you're rekindling with this person that, you know, that loves you um, and you love them back <laughs> or um, or something more than that, something even more spiritual and beneficial. Um, when I look at the Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups, like this is like um, something that will benefit you in the long run. Um, even for the remaining of your years is what I'm hearing. 
I love that. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe, my loves. Please support the channel so other people can hear this message, um, especially if you hit the like button. Um, and don't forget to catch me live this Sunday. Um, I do have personal readings, so email me if you want a personal reading or a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Love you. Bye.